Hey there football fans, welcome back to Football News Center. Today, we're diving into the cost-cutting moves Everton has made in a bid to avoid a second points deduction. As you may know, Everton recently submitted an appeal against their 10-point deduction, but the club's accountants are also working hard to avoid further spending penalties this season. You see, new fast-track rules were agreed upon over the summer, which means that any club that breaks the profit and sustainability rules will face sanctions before the end of the current campaign. These rules permit losses of up to £105 million over a three-year period. So, Everton and other clubs need to be careful. Now, let's take a closer look at Everton's business in the 2022-23 season. Sources close to the club insist that they are well within budget after a major drop in spending last season. The departure of James Rodriguez, who was earning a whopping £250,000 a week, helped relieve the wage bill. In addition, players like Richard Lysen and Anthony Gordon were sold, bringing in significant funds. However, Everton did make some new signings, like Amadou Onana, Dwight McNeil, and Neil Maupay, for multi-million pound fees. And there were other unforeseen factors that added to the club's financial challenges. Everton's original deduction was related to interest payable on loans for their new stadium. The Premier League argued that they had overspent, and since then, Sanctions brought against sponsor Ailisher Usmanov may have impacted the club's finances. But it's not all bad news for Everton. They did secure their biggest sponsorship deal to date with Stake.com, the online casino. This will help offset some of their losses and provide additional financial support. So, what do the experts say about Everton's situation? According to Karen Maguire, a chartered accountant and football finance lecturer, Everton has made significant progress in reducing their wage bill and has even made a profit from the sale of Academy product Anthony Gordon. However, with the signings they've made, there will be zero sympathy from the authorities if they exceed the spending limit. As for the possibility of further punishment, manager Sean Deitch remains uncertain. He stated that they were stunned by the initial 10-point deduction and that they have to be ready for whatever comes next. Well, that's all for today's update on Everton's cost-cutting moves. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more football news. Until next time, keep supporting your favorite teams and enjoy the beautiful game.